Hi beauties, welcome back for another video. So I'm back with the update on this hair. This is the Harlem 125 Kimmy Braid Ocean Wave, either 20 or 22 inch, I can't remember, but I'm coming to give you guys an update on this hair. Before we get into the video though, I would like to thank you guys so much for all the love on my previous video of how I installed this hair. Um, I'm going to leave the iCard right here. And um, yeah, I thank you guys so much for all the love, um, the comments, the likes, um, the shares, if you did share, I really appreciate that. So, um, still remember to like this video though, like this video and share it as well. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So this is the, um, Harlem 125 Kimmy Braid. Um, this is all the hair that I have left. Like I put four packs in my hair, which I neglected to mention in my previous video. And this is, like I said, all that I have left. If I wanted to, I could just put this in my hair, but, um, yeah, I don't want to. So I just got extra. I always have extra hair. You never know when you're needed. If you do want to fill in at a later date, depending on how you wear your hair, you can do so. So yeah, um, this, like I said, is my second week in, and I do have a few pros and cons to this hair. Let's get into the pros of this hair. This hair is still extremely soft. I know this is the second week, but a lot can happen from week to week when you're wearing synthetic hair, especially in crochet braids. So this hair remained very, very soft, and it definitely held the wave pattern, as you can see. Let me see. The waves are still there, which is great. I love for um, the hair to maintain its original state or around about its original state even with all the manipulation that I do to this hair and I'm also also going to include a um, I just tell you guys a little bit of how I maintain this hair in just a second so I love the fact that it did stay true to texture and true to um, uh, the curl pattern the the wave I love that I also love the fact that is not shiny i just love the way this hair looks it won me over just by the way it looks by the way it feels now some cons that i would say is and i'm not for sure this can be a, a pro and a con to some people but um i sometimes don't like the freeziness of it it's hard to tame the freeziness of it like i'm not for sure if it's picking up on camera but i got a a few flyaways and i guess this wouldn't be a con for me it will be a pro because I like actually like it to be a little frizzy it's just when it's too frizzy that I don't like it also um, the hair does um, you see this so to me it kind of there you go here's a good example you see that I don't like that it does that can you guys see that yeah y'all can see that I don't like that it does that I usually prefer mine to just kind of stay <laughs> Stay like this in its own original thing. I don't like when it clumps together like this. It's just very tangled. Now granted, it doesn't take a lot to fix it. What else? Oh, it does get a little tangled right here up in the nape area if you do not maintain it every day. Now what, so those are my cons. Now what I've been using to maintain it every day or every other day, which is why sometimes it mats because or tangles because I don't do this every day I really should but I apply a little bit of this so this is the olive oil hold and shine wrap and set mousse with coconut oil so I just put a few pumps it comes out in a foam and then I kind of just so I kind of just put it on my put it on the hair kind of work it through a little bit do a little scrunching just so it can hold its original state and it it makes the hair wet so you could easily manipulate it and just kind of pull them apart and you know just go through them and kind of finger detangle basically so at night after i do that it's usually in two sections like this i twist it just two two strand twists all the way down both ones and just put it in my bonnet i also i also put a <laughs> I'm laughing because my husband always says, boo, how many scarves are you going to wear to bed? As many as I need. Um, so I put the scarf around my edges and then I'll put on a bonnet um, before I go to bed after twisting the sections up. So 
yeah, that's it, you guys. I mean, I would recommend this hair. If I had to give it a 1 out of 10, I would say a 7. Um, only because I don't like the way it mats like this. I would say a 7, 8. Yeah. I would say a 7, 8. Because the hair is pretty. I really like it. The only thing that I don't like is the overabundance of frizziness. Um, a little bit of frizz is okay. I think a little frizz makes it look more natural. So, anyways, uh, this is it. This is the hair. It's holding up really well. I think I have it in. This is my second week, so I'll probably go one or two more weeks with this hair in. I was also thinking about cutting it to frame my face, but I think I'm going to just leave it long. And, um... Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I will see you on the next one. Bye.